we'll guide you through how to make a server in Minecraft 1.21.5. If you find this useful, then consider subscribing and liking the video. With a Minecraft server, you can then go and start playing with friends. So let's go and get started. What you need to do is come and quit out of Minecraft. Here we are on my desktop. What we need to do is go and open up a web browser of your choice. And we need to go and search for Minecraft server like so and come to the official Minecraft site, Minecraft server download and click here. Now we can go and see the download here for the Minecraft server 1.21.5. We can go and click on it and it's going to go and download. Go and wait. You can come out of your web browser and you can then go and open up your file explorer and come to your downloads. In your downloads, find the server file. And then what we need to do is come onto some blank space on our desktop, right click, hover over new, and we're gonna create a folder. Name it what you want, I'll just name it server, and then drag and drop the server.jar into it. And you can go and open up that folder like so. Now, before we get any further, this server is gonna be hosted on your computer. It's gonna be using your own internet and your own computer resources. And it's only gonna be online when your computer's online. A great alternative are the sponsors of today's video, Apex Hosting. There'll be a link down below in the pinned comment and in the description. At the moment, you can get 30% off your first invoice. So an Apex server is going to be 24 seven and it's gonna have 24 seven live chat support as well, meaning you can get the help anytime you need it. It's got instant setup, a free subdomain, one click install mod packs, making it super easy to go and install them amongst many other awesome features as well. So if you're interested, there'll be a link down below. So to continue with the guide, what we then need to do is go and double click on server.jar. What's gonna happen is you're gonna see these folders start to go and populate. Now, if something else opens up or nothing happens, this is because you don't go and have Java installed or not properly installed. So come back to your web browser and what you need to do is go and head to java.com. Go and press download Java for desktops and you can then press download Java for desktops again and it will download. And before we go and install that, you can then come into developers and administrators, click developer downloads. In here, you can select JDK 24 and then windows and find the installer. And you can go and click on it like so. Now wait for this to go and download as well. Once it has, go and open up another file explorer and you can come to your downloads. Now what we need to do is go and install both. First of all, you can install the JRE. I've already got that installed. And then we can go and install JDK. Double click on that. And what you can then do is come to server.jar, right click on it and hover over open with. And you want to click choose another app. You can then select Java and you can press always. And it should then go and successfully run through and these should go and generate. If they still don't, you may need to do something called a jar fix, which links jar and jar files together again. We've got a video on that and you can go and do it. After you've got these files and folders generated, open up eula.txt. What you need to do is read and agree to the eula, essentially the terms. You can go and copy and paste this link into a web browser. I've already read it, so we can then change eula from false to true. Press file and press save. Now we can close this and double click server.jar. Now it should go and start running as you can see. So the server is now on. Now, if you want to go and make any edits to the server settings, we can go and close this. And what you can do is go and find server.properties, right click on it. You can hover over open with, and you can select notepad. And you can go through here and go and adjust things. When you make any change, make sure you press file and then save. And to launch a server, all you do is run server.jar. Very straightforward, as you can see. So let's just go and launch it. And now we can go and join the server. Go and click multiplayer and you can press add server. In the address, because you're running it, you can go and type in local host like so and press done. There it is. You can select it and press join server. And you've now connected to your Minecraft server and you can go and start playing on it. Now you're probably wondering, how can you go and get other people in here? Now that is where you can do something called port forwarding and essentially you go and set it up and you can then give people your IP and they can go and join it. There are other solutions as well we've covered it on the channel, but that is the main way. And that is why I really like Apex because with port forwarding, you have to give out your IP, which isn't always that safe. And the general rule is only give out your IP to somebody you invite around your house. 